Oh, it looks like another bright sun, shiny morning. Let's finish that up. Wake all the way back up and get ready to move. Hello, everybody. This is Frogman. Welcome back to the long dark. And apparently some noise that we're going to have to deal with. What I'm trying to do is try to get past some of this wind so we can walk out of Hush River today without a lot of problem. The guts, the stinkiest part of this whole mess, are now cured well enough we can haul them and this is 60 percent which means it has four more days on it before it's done we're going to take it with us just because it's kind of feels stupid to leave it up here and um well we're just going to go i waited as long as i could did a little bit of organization did all that kind of stuff uh two days killed up here you know just passing time is not what i consider fun so we'll go ahead fill our stomachs up completely full and uh, yep, don't even have anything else to bring along with us. Let's get out of this area. We're going to go back to the front, basically. Back to the front, front to the back. And get all of our stuff gathered up and get the heck out of here. Now, that thing shouldn't smell much. Much is the optimal word at that point. But we are going to go back down the way we came. Straight out the river and hopefully right down to the front of the, the exit here. As quickly as possible, because again, I would like to get back into Milton. I do not remember for the life of me if we had the moose right there at that pond, because I think the next thing I would like to do is set this down, and we'll just leave it. We'll leave it there in Milton, because the opportunity, well, the obvious, the obviousness is we're not going to be coming back to this section of um, Hush River anytime soon, so it's kind of silly to leave a perfectly usable hide up here that even regardless of me picking it up and hauling it should uh, cure in the amount of time it takes to get everything done. So we'll go ahead and bring it back to the trailer and then we'll see about procuring a little bit more food because we do, I guess I am going to go ahead and say we're going to use this bear hide to craft another coat, but I may end up ripping the other coat up and repairing it the way that I have repaired um, moose hide satchel or moose hide satchels moose hide coats forever the cloaks because they only take one um one hide to craft uh, when you harvest one of them you get a one hide back so theoretically you only ever have to hunt one moose for a moose uh cloak or one bear for a bear coat bear bear hide coat whatever you want to call it ever again you just have to keep a stockpile of guts laying around and now we have a stockpile of guts laying around let's uh Kind of work our way back down this hill. Oh, I know. You're terrible. It's all horrible. What in the world? Oh, that's the dead body that's way down there. Hmm, neat. Uh, and I got to go right there. It's always kind of spooky because you could just slide right off the hill right there. In... Boink. We'll grab this real quick, warm right back up. I don't. I think we just had some clothing and a cooking pot right here. And a pry bar. Hmm. I'm going to leave you right there. How much coal do we still have? You know what? I'm, I'm going to just do this for right now. I was going to bring it along. We're going we're gonna to just not do that. Let's just go. I just wanted to warm up. We've played around enough, given the fact that we've got other places we need to be. Let's go. You can have a piece of this if you want, but... We're going to try to do a little wiggle wiggle off the edge over here. Hopefully not attract the wolf. Where is he? Uh, 
Uh, uh, careful. Stay on the rock, not on the wall behind you. Ooh, that was a little far. Oh, that was a little far. <laughs> not, not, not good, not good, not funny. I should go up there and see if there's anything good up on that, but eh, we can do that later. I'm going to go take the river out just because this is a little bit safer. Marginally. Not great, but marginally. I wonder, can I see it from here this time? Can you get up on this and actually look down at it? There is a cache that can spawn right over there. And it's not there. Okay. At least I don't think it's there. doesn't look like it's there. We never broke these sticks down, did we? Or did I? I don't remember. Did I or did I? No. No, 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 I did not. Well, that's not great. I guess we'll just go right over here and go boink and ow. Climb the rocks, Sir Astrid. We are almost done. We're leaving. There were some things I wanted to do in Milton, but again, I think we're going to not. Might save it for a, a later day. All right, now that we're up here, we have to pay attention. But well, they put those oaks in everywhere. There's one over there. There's one over there. They're like, yes, come look at us. Never mind the fact a bear lives right here. That's a deer. Okay. Never mind the fact there's a bear lives right here somewhere. He's standing right there. Hello, Mr. Bear. Can I uh, carefully walk through here and you leave me alone, please? Thank you. I, mean, I got to go over there. You gonna let me go over there? A little rock laying around somewhere. Uh, yeah, you go that way. Seriously, go that way. No, 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 no! Don't get stuck. Thank you. All right, cool. Sometimes I can wiggle my way up here, but I don't know if I want to waste it. Eh, go up here. Okay, you're headed that way. Let me get reoriented here. I need to go. There's two bear caves? I thought that was the bear cave. Where did my mouse go? Hello? Uh-oh. Um, um, I 
don't have a mouse button anymore. What? Okay, there. That was weird. When does he live over here? I thought that was his bear cave. Right there. Huh, he must be able to move back and forth. Interesting. Okay, for a minute there, I thought it was backwards. Now I gotta go clear over here to this, this well, this, this log around that side to get out. That's one of the reasons why I don't like getting out this right here. Going out the way you come in, because you have to go all the way back around over here to get out this one side. But we're out now. Whew, okay. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's make a move. Fine. Come on. We should have a couple of rabbit skins and some guts waiting on us when we get up here so we can fix our rabbit stuff. And hopefully here fairly soon. I do believe we left some other things laying around Milton. Um, I don't know how much more we're going to go do in Milton. I was thinking about going to the plane crash. Given the fact that we could maybe possibly end up with an aviator hat up there, but I think we're more likely to get one in the airfield than we are just about anywhere. However, again, like I said, the flight jacket that we picked up several episodes ago was very surprising to me. Let's go pick up all that stuff we laid down last time, and hopefully it didn't rot too badly being out in the woods like that, out in the wind. I was kind of, really kind of hoping that that, that that prepper cache was a little bit easier to get to, but you can kind of see what I'm saying about it. Is it's You can't get up there from here. you got to go that whole long way around. Whatever, let's pick all this stuff up. Get back into Milton. I don't, yeah, we'll, we'll, how heavy are we now? Ooh, yeah, well, we might just... Well, we'll go right here and dump this coal. I don't mind storing coal at the ends of caves. It's a good spot to store it. Should you ever come back. Stomp, 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 stomp. Alrighty, somewhere right in here we should have left stuff, I thought. I'm almost out of lantern fuel. Amazing. Ah, there they are. Hello. Give me those. Right there. Thank you. And then we'll dump all of this excess stuff. Right there. Still awfully heavy, but whatever. All right, I'm going to fix a couple of things here. We need to fix... Well, I'm going to fix my stuff, hopefully. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't realize that a bear hide was 2.2 pounds. I thought it was more along the lines of this. Huh. Whatever. Let us carry on. We don't have any light anymore so I'll have to light a torch which means I have to waste a match which I guess I could go outside but no big deal let's go I'll leave a bunch of usable material right there if I have to I can come back and pick more it's 
can tell she's very heavy and not happy. The stomp, stomp, stomps her. <laughs> Interesting. Did any of it respawn? Now. Okay, well. Sometimes I wonder then. We'll, uh, we'll have to experiment with that one of these days. Uh, again, I don't remember if we had the moose here or not. Either way, we're going to need several days of food if we want to craft a bear coat. I don't think he was here. I think he's at the, the bottom of the bottom of the rope in the basin. So we have some other things we need to accomplish then. Okay. Now, there may be a deer locally. Who knows? Oh, we did leave a little bit of food, huh? How much have we got here? When... Two, three, four, five. Not enough. Take yourself inside. All right, so we do have another cured gut, cured thing. I can eat that now since we're at cooking five. And I left an in-progress bow there. And we can pick these up. Just pick this stuff up. Get the thing back down on the ground curing so that it can complete there. It's got four days, and we had a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, there is our new prize and what we need to figure out what we're going to do with it. And then, of course, that bear hide and a bunch of other things. Let me put all this stuff away, sit down, and formulate a plan. And I will come back with you guys once I figure out what we're going to do. Because I kind of hate this. I'll take it. Wow, I completely missed that. That's a nicer one than what we have right now. Here. I think. Yeah, wonderful, awesome, completely. I think that's, I don't know, there's just been some wonky stuff like that that just things that you know you should have seen and you didn't, and, and it's like it's been put back in the game or something. I don't know, whatever. I'm going to come up with a plan of what we're going to do, and I'll be back in just a little bit. Well, plan was kind of abruptly figured out when, uh, when, when, when I heard her, so and I, I know what I'm going to go do. Now I'm going to go back over here and grab the fire that I started, and heh, we'll just go ahead and cut that poor little deer up, make some dinner for a little while, and then we'll go ahead and craft a couple of things. So I have a plan. I have a plan. Unfortunately, my plan now is uh, I have a fire in the wrong place with two things that are on it. But anyhow, that should do the, that should do the food for us. So I will see you all in the morning when we... Well, after I get done cutting up another deer and doing a little bit more work. So, I'll see y'all. Okay, we got us another deer and a little bit of food. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to craft up a bunch of stuff right real fast. I know that's a kind of a long, drawn, born out, born out thing, drawn out thing. But we do have enough food, I think, now to at least complete some of the things that I want to get done. And in five days, well, four days, this will be ready. So, I don't know whether we're going to mess around with anything or not. I'm going to finish this. And then gonna kind of work through some of the other things that I know we have laying around because I do need to make a few more arrows, clean up some of the mess that we made because we've got a bunch of stuff all over the place, and then start into fixing some other things. So I will. I'm, I'm gonna again. We'll, we'll just we'll just letting you guys know what's gonna happen, and I'm gonna move on forward and try to get as much of this stuff done as we can, and then I think we're gonna be headed towards the farmhouse here. 
shortly, I hope. So let me get a bunch of work done, and I will see you all in a little while. Alrighty, that ought to be the last little bit. And nothing like spending four days crafting something. Yes, I know. Ow, 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 ow. We'll be fine. We got plenty of things we can deal with. Go ahead, just drink that. I'm out of water. It didn't feel like making more water. We're going to have to do some other things about our water situation, but we're going to kind of worry about that in a little bit. Uh, this is good for like sometime today. This thing will be ready should I care. We have another gut to play with, another, another thing to play with. Let's put away some of this stuff. So I am not a usual double bear coat runner as far as Pete things go. However, um, given what we're going to have to do with this character, we're going to run a double bear coat for now. Um, and I will probably end up figuring some kind of way of dealing with said double bear coat for when we're playing around with other things. Now, we don't need any of this anymore because we don't need to have to worry about this anymore unless we get really, really unlucky and get intestinal parasites or there's some other thing, like if I accidentally drink the wrong water or whatever, so those can go away. It is now time to sit down and lighten up. So that means the only thing we're going to be dealing with those things for right there is if we decide we need to warm up or do some other type of thing. This is done. Uh, you guys can just get dropped. That can stay here. I guess we can just... Well, you can you can just live right there for now until I'm ready to go do things. And, okay, we got all those good. What else is in here we want to bring with us? I need to bring all of this and all of this and all of this. And I guess I'm going to be... I think we'll just leave those right there. You guys can come with us. And um, several of these, I just want to make sure I have four full ones at least. So four full ones of those there and a good usable pry bar. We're going to go right back down to Grey. Well, actually, we're not going to Grey Mothers. We're going towards Paradise Meadows Farmstead right now. And I'm going to figure out how we're going to get to it. I guess I did have a little bit of water. Did I get that coat? You're coming with me. No, you're going to hang on to every little bit of it. Quit whining. How much guts do I have on me? I don't need all those guts. Thank you very much. That's fine. And we're going to be a little over for right now because of the fact we're going to carry these five pounds to the farmstead. And then I'm probably going to go ahead and patch a couple of other things up. This is got a little while. I, I actually said, I keep saying it. No, we need to go back to Grey Mothers because there's something in Grey Mothers, well, at least across the street, that I want to go look at because we forgot to do the bank. So let's get back over there. But we now have two. Yeah, lovely. Is the wolf over here? Yeah, he's right there. Let's immediately ruin this coat, yeah? Mark. There you are. I was wondering where you were. Now, we hit Expert 4 finally on archery when I was crafting all of those arrows before we got through all of that other fun stuff, so I completely forgot to fill my belly. Whatever. Let's get to Grey Mothers. And run across the street. I'm only majorly interested in one thing in that building, and that's two, whether or not we get two cups of coffee or not. But I cannot believe we walked all the way around the whole town and did not do the da or the, the the bank. I completely spaced the bank. Nothing. Cool. Mm. 
But we'll go ahead and get the bank over with and then run down to, well, we'll, we'll dump a few things off here, but, you know, all of the fun things. Do we get two cups of coffee? It looks like we're going to get two cups of coffee. There's one right there and one right there. Amazing. Thank you. Oh, poor dude. Can I have your pry bar? Thank you. I'd rather have a good pry bar. You can have my pry bar. I'll give you this one. Here. There you go. Ah, all right. What are we going to get? If I don't get at least a newspaper or a piece of cash, that's going to be the first time I've walked through every single one of those and not gotten a single thing. Wow. There's usually a newspaper and at least some cash in the thing. I mean, I know there's some cash laying on the floor right here, but, you know, that doesn't count. Anything else laying around on the walls, on the floors? What do you bet? Getting a little close. I don't know what it is lately. I've been having a lot of 50s on these things. So 51. 30 something. Thirty eight. And it'll probably go all the way back to like 20 something. Nope, it's going to go back to like 35 probably. Yep. Love it. Another whirly wrap. Well, love it. And some gunpowder. Nice. You can just keep that. I don't want it. We're not going to haul that heavy stuff around. Candy bar. Should have popped that one before I picked up the fresh can pry bar, but whatever. There'll be plenty of pry bars laying around all over the place. If we have found with this run, it seems like this is the pry bar run. One of many things that are showing up all over the place. Anyhow, what else have we got? Nothing, 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 nothing. And we'll go ahead and... Yeah, we'll use it for right now. Take the wonderful toilet water and have a sip. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hello, emails. Thank you very much for letting us know you exist. Stinking outlook. Oh, we're getting a bunch of travel food. That's nice. All right. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else here. Not concerned about the cloth. Not concerned about anything else. Let's go next door, dump all the excess stuff off, and walk down the street. Actually, it's getting a little dark. We might stay here. Oh, the corpse is up there. I've not seen that guy in a while. Huh. All right, I forget what we left. Going to have to take stock. Looks like a bunch of water and cans and some things. 
Right. Right. Not a whole lot of much. And a fresh one. Okay, cool. Dump off off your excess. Again, sadness as it goes, it's staying here. We may come visit it later on down the road, but my again, my big issue with the two of the newer clothing items is that they require a lot of leather to fix. Lots of leather to fix. So the new hat requires a piece of leather. The new flight jacket requires two. Um, it gets kind of expensive to try to keep them working on a, what I would consider a... It's renewable. It's just not very easy to renew. You have to go looking for it. You have to go beachcombing for it. So it's not something that I would say is an amazing, amazing, amazing thing. Um, I don't want you anymore. We have a hammer. We'll just trade you for that. Go upstairs and take a nap and get ready to move to paradise in the morning. All right, let's run down here, grab us a little bit of water. We should be pretty good, I think, as far as everything else. I'm happy leaving all of this here again. We're this is a this is one of those people we're not really too carried about. Terry, Terry, worried about where we're keeping things is sad. I, I would have loved to have gotten that a little bit earlier in the run. It would have been fun to kind of play with it a little bit. So let's grab us a, a drink of water, and that will be good. I will pick up more water when we get down there, so that can stay here. Let's go see what we have in the Meadows Farmhouse and probably end it there. I know this might be a little long one. We're going to try to, hate to say it, try to stretch some of these just a little bit, but. We've been playing around for too long and I kind of want to get towards the walk. I really just kind of want to do it. Now that we've got the warmth that I want, I mean, that's. Yep, that, that's still really cold, given what it is, but we're a plus 50 right now. That's pretty stinking good for for a uh, for an interloper. Now, like I say, my other one, the one that the day the day zero, I should say the day zero of the December update, she's without that got, without two bear coats, she's got that. So, uh, <laughs> kind of cheesed it a lot. She's got a whole lot of clothing she's not supposed to have, which is kind of fun. But anyhow, let's go see what's going on over here. We'll save the plane crash and some of this other area for a later day. No Wolfie. Need to pick up some firewood just a little. I don't want to be too heavy. We're right at the edge of where I want to be. I do, again, want to bring a hammer. But I'm debating at this point on whether we're going to swing into Broken Railroad or not. We may say Broken Railroad for after the airfield being over with and when we start into Signal Void with this character. So, we'll see. Oh, hi. I don't know, sometimes I wonder if their detection radius... Oh, he was getting ready to, to do the barky, barky bark thing. Then he'll probably turn around and then bark at us, maybe. Didn't hear us, didn't see us. Okay. I'm only majorly interested right here because there should be some stuff sitting on the bench in here. Given that this is Interloper, and, uh, well, the stuff that spawns on Interloper is supposed to be a little bit more reduced than everything else, is it going to be here? Yes, it is. All right, there is a fuse. I'm not going to gather those things up until I'm told to. Where do you bet the key is? Uh, there's another one. Let's grab the wood. We'll just put it inside. Ah, uh, except I gotta go see if we get the key in the pickup. Another pry bar. 
Not really. We'll leave it right there for now. And the key. All right, cool. And the thing in here, no. Whoa. All right, now we're going in here just for a couple of little things, mainly just to see if there's anything really usable, like food, and maybe one of those, that'd be great. Anything in here, probably not, and the water. Water's always another good thing we can do. Plus, we're going to go ahead and take a nap, make sure she's as rested as she can get going down this rope. Of course, we'll warm up and heal up a little bit. Put that away for now. Uh, go ahead and search everything. We've got a couple of minutes. It won't hurt to warm back up this way because we're going to sleep it off anyway. I think we'll probably stay right here. We're just going to loot this and then probably head to the basin in the next one. So, let's see if we get anything fun. Any books? Sounds like we have a blizzard or a nasty storm. Decent ski jacket. Yeah, it would have been a long time ago. Still not 100% certain where the, the where when and if and where the maglen spawns in this new loot table now, whether or not it does or not. I mean, they're getting kind of... We have one, but I, I don't remember where the heck we got it. The other day I was actually playing and there was a set of shoes sitting behind this box, which was interesting. And that box isn't there. Huh, interesting. Sometimes there's a container right there. And we get a new pot. Oh my, we get two box of crackers. Thank you. I don't feel so bad about eating that one earlier. I'm about to eat some of these crackers. Thank you. And nope. And nope. What are we going to get back here? More peaches. Dusting sulfur. We can put you over here. Maybe maybe one day we may need that. I doubt it. All right. Well, that looks like it, I think. I don't see any wires. I don't see any fuses. Trash can and a little plastic box here. I guess we can look at that. New wool socks. Those are probably better than one of the ones I've got on right now, aren't they? Yes, they are. I actually need to sit down and sew some things. Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. Well, I think we'll call it right there. I'm probably well over. Next episode, we're going to make our way towards Muskeg. And I don't know exactly yet what I want to do because we might be able to go find another plane crash in the Muskeg. We've already walked by it. So it might be worth us to go try to find it. and Or we may just make our way over to Broken Railroad and do a really, really, really quick once around and see how things go over there. Sarah's looking at the wall for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm going to probably rip some of this cloth up here and fix up our clothing and get ready for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all later. Bye.